Nice. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, boss. Live chess. Oh, uh, sure, we'll save that thing. Now, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to eventually get to get two windows because I want to... Let's just start. Let's just start. I want to... Um, analyze some of the games after. Now, as you'll see, I am rated 600. That is intentional. Here we go. We're starting from the bottom of the barrel. Let's make this a little bit bigger over here. All right, the guy plays e5. Here we go. Bishop's opening, baby. That's right. Don't send me any help in the chat, boss. <laughs> he off the Tremoggi defense. Here we go. Pop. And this will also give me the chance, we'll go up the ranks here, we're gonna go up from 600, and give me the chance to just see what different levels of player. Now, by the way, the guy's playing great so far. What do I do on IG4? <laughs> I better, boss, you better have an idea. Uh, so far, this guy's playing great, dude. Uh, and I'm going to make notes on things that... In fact, right after this, I'm going to look at this knight g4 immediate. Fast knight g4. I'm not sure. I'm 100% sure on what I'm supposed to do there. All right, here I remember I'm supposed to play knight a4. This is very simple. But you know what? This knight a4 move, although it leads to an advantage, it... Uh, oh, that's a mistake. Uh, it... I want to say it leads to more of a positional game here. Now, how do I get this? So I just, I was, I want to, there we go. Is that going to be better, boss? A6, well, I'll take it, boss. Not a good sign that Seda TG is thinking about this. From Chile. Okay, well that's a spicy move. So now Queen F2 could be a default. Queen F2 is fine. Queen G3 though is like uh, maybe it's welcome to the dojo time after Queen G3. Now are you gonna get are you gonna get fancy on me here, Cry? All right, let's get fancy. So so Queen F2. Or queen d1 would be el normal. <laughs> I'm going to go a little crazy. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. It wouldn't be the first time I screwed something like this up. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, it was a brood awakening the other day with playing the playing a quick chess too. And I was getting raged, raged against my machine. All right, what are we talking about here? I am down, I'm down something. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Checkmate. Nice. Now, I think this speed run's gonna take a while, dude. I, I didn't know how to do it, but I was like, okay, put me at 600, you know? Put me at 600, boss. Let's see what happens. Well, this might take a while. Okay, now, what I need to do, though, is we gotta go play analysis board. There was actually a very valuable question that came up that I'm not sure is in the, uh, in the file. I'd have to, I wanna double check all this stuff. So here we go. Up, and he played Pop, I did pop, I did pop, I did pop, he did pop, and now I did pop. And um, I think I looked at this in the file, but I need to be sure. So knight g4. Let's go check the file. because This one kind of freaked me out at the moment. I was like, do I really know what I'm doing here? <laughs> so I was like, do I really know what's going to happen in this thing? The, the, the little cheap engine over here, 
chess.com doesn't like my knight e4, so I better check this boss. Oh my god, so many things. So, so many Lee Chess studies over here, my friends. Aggressive. Just type in aggressive. Pop, pop. Okay, so let's pop, pop, pop. Knight c3, d6, f4, knight g4. Totally in here. I play f5. Knight f2, queen h5. Okay, so here, here's the deal. I was going to play f5. I just felt nervous about this. So f5, knight f2, queen h5. Yeah, yeah, this is an amazing variation. Because you go g6, queen h6. This is incredible, actually. Knight h1, bishop g5, f6, pop. Pop, pop, and it's done. So that's an, also an example of a line that needs to be memorized cold. Obviously, I knew that f5 was a move, but my memorization of the line wasn't too clean. Now, I want to say with this aggressive repertoire, one of the beauties that I really like about it is you don't have to memorize, like, everything. I'm sorry, the board got all messed up. It got, got, gets messed up when I put a, um, when I add the analysis board. But I'm, I'm going to have to use the analysis board anyway. So I'm going to try to review key lines after every game. And so just so you can see it, my G4, if you play aggressive repertoire, you're going to get somebody who does this. Pop, and you absolutely need to know that knight F2, queen H5, It looks forced, dude. It looks forced. Um, I'm just contemplating queen d7 here. That's an evil thing. And so if, right, the intention is if castles, knight f3 is going to be crushing... And then if queen d7, let's look at this actually. Um, huh. There's more than one thing I can do here, but which one should I do? <sighs> let's fly, let's fly away. If you play with the spicy, you could get burned. There's no doubt. No, we're not interested in knight h3. We're interested in a thing called mate. That's what we're interested in. And I think it's going to go... Let's try first this one. Here. And let's just see what happens here, boss. And let's see what happens here. And then I think I'm going in. Bam. I'm just going in, man. I'm just going in. I am going in. Amazing. I'm down a rook. But I'm going in. It's like, it's, it's the end. It's the end. It's really a fun opening, man. Mm. I like it a lot. Okay. So, let's go back to this thing. And we'll play again. Play. Hmm. I have 700 this time from Great Britain. All right. So let's go d6. Knight of six. Okay. So I could do any number of things here now. What I don't understand about his play is. Well, maybe bishop f5, maybe you could play um, knight h4. It's kind of weird. Well, it's a, it's a weird position already. So g6, I transpose to the perk. Bishop f5, maybe knight h4. Let's stress the maybe in that baby. Well, let's try this bishop f5. It's hard to believe in knight h4, right? It's just a little hard. Let 
let's fly, let's fly away. Now let's get frisky with the bisky. Well, maybe I don't want to get so frisky with the bisky. How about we, ooh, this, this is a little spicy. A little spicy, man. How did it get so spicy so fast, Cry? Hmm. All right, let's go. Am I sure? I'm not sure. Right, he wants to develop my business and give me the bishop. Maybe, though. Maybe e4 and he can claim. No, I don't think he can claim. Because I play here. Now, one of the things about me and the aggressive repertoire is maybe I just naturally turn everything into a positional struggle. <laughs> right? Maybe that's just something I do inherently, like the dweeb that I am. This is an interesting position. Ooh, that's not a good move. Mm -mm. I take it. Okay. Let's do something kind of, well, I don't know, actually. Now, g6 is the normal person's move, okay? <laughs> That's the normal person's move. Can you do it, Cry? Can you just play the normal person's move? Well, you know this position. It's not super simple. All right, we're going to do my first instinct. There it is. For better or for worse, that was my first instinct. If I have a grief here, it's that the, maybe my, this square, how come I, how come I, I can't highlight a square? I can't highlight a square? Anyways, F5, maybe a little grief for the peef. What does he want to play? Uh, queen B5? Let's do this move, I like this. We're playing on the dark squares, and we really have a problem fixing our bishop. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and bid it. <laughs> but... No, we got, he's got more problems than we do. Okay, thank you very much. So far, 600 rated and 700 player rated, well, you know, they played the first four moves or so, they were fine. Let's put a rook over here because Mama said... Now, he's just hanging his business on F3. I can't take it immediately. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Now, do I want to play queen b6 and trade off the ladies? Or do I want to play for mate? We play for mate. Now the challenge is gonna be opening up my bishop on L dark squares. Let's fly, let's fly away. Well, that's an interesting position. I think he's toast. I think it's a goner. Now it's definitely a goner. So, okay, the argument is <laughs> that my bishop is all nasty. I get it. I get it. However, I'm still going to cancel. That's an interesting position. That's right. I just, I'm a bad bishop layer, and I just... Can't resist. <laughs> Can't resist. He's got a bad bishop too. Okay, this guy's becoming a little annoying. So, it's a little tactical at the moment. Oh, cry, don't lose on time. Holy smokes. Jeez, buddy. Jeez, this is really egregious. Oh, shoot. 
Move it. Jeez. He's Malise. Mr. Bambees. I need the plan, baby. I need the plan. Let's fly, let's fly away. I'm just moving now. Maybe I should have done that instead of all that other weird stuff. Uh, I, I have simple plan, though. It's, it's hotter than this tomato wanted to see, I'll tell you that. How big of a threat is F5? Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Let's bring in the rook. He's fast, dude. He's fast. Let's fly, let's fly away. Pop, open it up, baby! Pop, open it up, baby. Oh, that's going to hurt. Pop! <laughs> Mate. I almost lost on time on that one, my friend. <laughs> Welcome to the dojo. Now, actually, so, okay, let's, let's go back and look at the analysis board for a second. So, let's go all the way back. We'll flip El Bordo. Okay, we'll flip out Bordeaux. And it went, it went, it was kind of a weird opening, it went like this. Pop, 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 pop. Now, the normal move, I think, here would be to play G6. However, let me just describe some weirdness that happened with this move order. Uh, that part of my intention with the whole repertoire today is to fool around with this modern stuff. And now, and the idea of the modern is to not commit the knight to f6 so quickly. Giving black a lot more flexibility. That's why I call it the Altucher kind of like monkey defense. It's the Altucher monkey defense. So, <laughs> so all of a sudden with this move order, if I play g6, it's fine, but I'm now into a perk. And so I was trying to see if bishop f5 could be a way out for me. And this move, you know, it was a simple developing move, but it was pretty reasonable. Um, but you know what I should have done here? I should have just played knight e4. That's what I should have done. Yeah. What did I end up doing? I played... Um, I played knight c6 like a freaky deaky. You know, cry, you don't always have to be a freaky deaky boss. You know what we're saying, buddy? <laughs> That's right, Thor's Thunder. I almost flagged, dude. I haven't played Blitz in a long time, man, so I got, I got some learning to do. All right, we're up to 631, my friends. 631. Oh, okay, so what is the, what is the aggressive repertoire? I'm going to assume it's this one. I'm going to assume that's the one. He's going to counter French me. Well, I don't know what to do. Let's just play that and see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. I appreciate this guy. He's not playing any theoretical monkey stuff. He's just developing his pieces. Fine. Fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't take on D5, boss. Oh, he's passive. He's gone passive. Mom, he's gone passive. Okay, he's, now he's giving me time. Where's this dude from? Estonia. I've been thinking a lot about Estonia recently. I'm serious. I think about like what it would be like, man, getting invaded by Russia and stuff. No, no bueno. Let's park it.
That's a, that's a bad move. Let's see if he falls for me. <laughs> you gotta ask. You gotta ask. I know. I know. Okay. Oh, he fell for it. That was a little cheap. All right. I, I don't think it was technically a bad move, okay? But it was still kind of cheap. All right, here we go. Another one. The Death Gnome. All right, here we go. This part, I'm still kind of working out. So this is a James Altucher business. He might join me on stream in a little bit. And so one of the fascinating things about this, if he goes King's Indian, is I have the additional uh, possibility of playing e5 here. Right, and now, interesting question. Do I have the juice to play f5? <laughs> or is that insane? This is actually an important question. I think I have the juice. Well, let's go. Let's go. Controversial because maybe, maybe knight g5 here. Okay? So the idea here is that I'm getting a king's Indian without having to do the whole knight f6 back and forth drama. Now I ask you a question. Oh, that's a mistake. That's a, that's a goner. That's a goner sign. Oh, adieu and good night. It's not only that I'm winning his, a piece, but I'm winning his best piece. <laughs> oh, he's gonna give me two pieces. Oh, he's going to give me the queen. It's a yard sale over here for the death gnome from South Africa. Hmm. Almost up to 700, my friends. Almost up. Here we go. So was that, that was a model game. Actually, I just want to stress this position here, I think is, if, if we, me and Altitude were talking about it yesterday, and this position is... Let's call it mildly critical for what could become the aggressive repertoire for black. Let's go again. Pop. Giashia. So far, nothing wrong with his play. This definitely is a position that comes up a lot. And actually, we've had this several times. Actually, of all the positions I've had so far in my speed run, this is the most common. And like I said, I think it was three games ago or something. This is fine for white, but it's not... Once I go after bishop hunting, it's no longer like me crushing um, uh, with an attack. Though it was an amazing attack. I think the game last time went knight d4 here and I played queen g3 and that whole business happened. Okay, I'm going to take that bad boy. I think this is like positionally lost. Some players might play f5 there. I don't, yeah, but I'm, I'm just happy to open the bishop and everything. All right. So queen f2 is our default move. And I don't want to do queen g3 because of knight h5. So let's just park it here. Don't play knight e2, Jesse, okay? <laughs> Whatever you do, I don't want you to play knight e2, okay? Or queen g3. Don't play queen g3 losing to knight e2. Thank you very much. These bishops are angry, dude. 
These bishops are furious. We're about to start pushing this poor boy back too. C3, H3, let's go. Now, if he wants to try to survive, he needs to try to somehow plant the G4 knight onto E5. That's his only hope. <laughs> yeah, queen G3. Now, maybe he should have done this before. The problem for the guys, now when he takes my bishop, his, his uh, position's kind of shattered. Now, do I want to get bishop b5 in? Who does it help when I play bishop d5? Well, let's put it here. Now, one dirty trick would be if my bishop on f4 were not connected to d2, he could play c4 and really mess with me because dc knight f3 would win my queen. Thankfully, <laughs> that's not going on here. Yeah, so now my rook on a1's developed, the pawns are shattered. Still though, if he wants to survive, he needs to try to put the knight onto e5. Hmm. Well, son, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, man. Okay. I could do anything here. Now, am I gonna be a lame and go into the end game? I mean, I don't understand why he's giving me all these pawns. All right, I take. I take. Mama said that the bishop was good in the end game, especially when you got extra pawns. Especially when both your rooks are active. Mm. Wrath of God. Something like f6 should have been on his agenda. At that point, definitely b5 didn't help his cause, though. Well, I, I mean, I get it. He wanted to trade off the bishop, but the problem was that structure was so funky over there on the queen side. Like, I have rook a6 stuff and rook a5 stuff, you know, so it's not an easy life for dude. And he still needs to achieve this uh, 95 thing sooner rather than later. Now, I don't know what he's doing. All right, let's say no queen trade, because that's what the fans want. They don't want a queen trade, right? Fans want death. They want to push it. I'm kind of a little bit loath to block my bishop. Right, let's go. Stop talking about me about loathe, Cry. I'm not interested in your loathe. I am loth. Look at my beautiful rooks. Unfortunately, I got only two rooks. One of them would like to come to the D file, too. But when you got so many beautiful files, it's sometimes a problem to know which way to go. This is an aspirational move here, Rook A6. And just because Daddy said sometimes I should. Ooh, not recommended. I mean, Rook H6 might be winning on the spot. I don't know. I mean, Rook H6 is still going to come, boss. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Check to the miserable king. I'm out of here. F6? Oh. Whack. It's like I put that rook on A6 and he was like, oh, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> okay, son, here we go. Ah, this is a welcome to the dojo moment, my friends. Oh. I'm not even going to take that queen. Not going to do it. No queen for you, buddy. Bam! How come we didn't go for h3, knight f6, bishop g5 instead of dc4? Let's go look. So on h3, okay, I was concerned with 
Can I do this? Yeah, h3, queen d4, king h1, knight e5. And I was concerned that the guy might survive. And I actually looked at this, and the problem was if c3 he takes, and I couldn't figure out how to win. You know? So that's why I didn't play h3. But, but absolutely, Wrath of Gods, that was on my agenda. Because I, I wanted to mate. The, the issue is, once you start getting past pawns rolling and an open board, the bishop's so strong. So just my intuition is just I got to just open it all up. Oh! All right, here we go. Let's play again. Play. This is the professor. This speed run thing, he set me so I don't win a lot of points. You know, I don't win a lot of points. This could take forever, dude. These guys, by the way, they get their points back. So at some point, you know, they will get their points back. Okay, that is a mistake because of DC5. All right, pause for a second, cry, cry. Um, bishop e3 is obviously strong, but b4, b5, so now I'm going to win the battle of the e5 square, so now if f6 or whatever, I always have him. Now, I can castle, I can play a4, I can play bishop a3. Bishop e3, I don't like too much because the, the queen wants to move anyway. So it's either a4 or bishop a3. They both look good. More castles. Let's castle. See what the guy wants. Okay. That's like a... A sign. A sign from above. It's time to play a4. A V I don't know what he needs to do. I don't have any good answers for him anymore. G6. I guess so that's a clue that he wants to play knight f5 next move. So bishop a3 looks strong. A5 looks great. Bishop e3 looks great. Knight g5 may be playable. But we're just going to play... We're, I'm going to try to do system moves every time. So bishop a3 system move because I want to get rid of his good bishop. That's his one, the one defender we want to get rid of. Hard to imagine another move here besides knight f5. Okay, fine. If you don't wish to develop your pieces, I come, baby. I'm going to come. Ooh, he doesn't want to give it to me. <laughs> <sighs> All right, system moves, Cry. I want you to make system moves. Um, I think here we are now called upon to open El Posizione. The professor is winning on time. I better be careful. Yeah, in dubio, always, always castles. A6. All right, I'm going to take this thing. His knight on B8 can't move. I think he's got to play ED, you know? He's going to play ED. And the, the, the disadvantage for me allowing this ED move is maybe he can think about playing uh, bishop g4 next and fixing his pieces or something, which I don't, I don't want him to fix his pieces. No one wants him to fix his pieces, his Reese's pieces. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put the rook on e1 because that's the system move. I just want system moves. All right. 
And now the system move is either knight d4 or knight b3. Uh, let's say it's knight b3. Now system move is to bring the dog in. Now, I'm a little ashamed, okay? <laughs> the game isn't over yet. <laughs> I'm a little ashamed. I'm a little ashamed. I'm going to admit it. Okay, I admitted it. I admitted it. Okay, now, things are getting a little hot. And I'll tell you guys what. It is time. Bam! You want my rook on A1, boss? You can have it. If you want it, baby. You can have it. That's that's looking bad for him. That's looking like the dream. So I was mad that I wasn't winning already, but here we are, move 19, done. Did I miss that move? <laughs> Takes. Let's get the queen, boss. Did you start again? Well, I had to, man. This is called the speed run. The first thing we were doing yesterday was something about some technical thing that I didn't understand about setting the KD value. I'm, I'm a boomer GM. I don't know anything about what KD value means, but we had to set that thing, and now we're playing this thing for real, which is giving me time to feel out this repertoire. I'm not even at 700 yet. It's taking me muchos games just to get to 700, dog. But I'll get there, man. I'll get there. These people don't resign. Oh, jeez, Malise, man. Let's go talk to his rook just to see what happens. Let's fly, let's fly away. It is not a pleasurable moment. Let's go ask this is let's get an escape square for my king. Let's get an escape square for my king, boss. I'm such a such a mean old man, dude. I'm a mean, mean old man. Well, this is not going to be pleasant for a peasant. Look at that. He pre-moved me. He, these, these guys, 700, he knows how to pre-move. I still don't know how to pre-move. That's going to be a Polgar mate. Can I just, oh, let me just do a little rant here. Proust yesterday was talking at me like he doesn't have to do the Polgar mates because he's too good. Okay? That's what the guy says to me. Oh, cry, don't lose our time. Mate, he says, I don't have to do the Polgar mates. I'm a master. What? I'm like, buddy, Polgar mate pattern, buddy, better be in your blood. And it's not. He doesn't know it. He thinks he's a master and knows everything. The arrogance, dude. The arrogance. Not going to get anywhere with the chest with the arrogance. So he's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm into it for the program. I think other people should do it, but not me. Not me, boss. I'm too good. Oh, I got a you deliver checkmate with the bishop. Now here it is, aggressive repertoire scandy. Bam! Oh, baby. Take that, buddy. Take that. Rook B1. Thank you very much. This is unpleasant for a peasant. I'm pretty sure we go rook B5. Now, I'm gonna admit that after queen a6, I think I just, I think I just developed, but this is a position I, I will double check after the game with, uh, in the database or whatever you wanna call it. Ooh, it looks real bad for his queen. <laughs> oh, it looks real bad for his queen. I might just have nothing better like rook b3 or rook b1. Seems like he should be, deserves to get mated. 
All right, let's go b3 to give ourselves a little bit of juice on the third rank. Seems like his queen deserved to be to, to die, you know? Ooh, his queen did deserve to die, my friend. Ah, <sighs> Josiah Stolzfuss. Ah, oh, it just gets worse and worse over here. Well, Josiah. Uh, let's, we're going to look at knight d5 chess lover. I'm just going to take this over here. So this, so I want to say I built up the illustrative games uh, using Owl Teachers games, using um, games from the Dojo database and stuff. And there weren't any games with this thing, with the Scandi. And so I don't yet have too much experience with this amazing B4 move. Let's fly, let's fly away. This is a yard sale over here, man. This is a yard sale. Making everything. How many more pieces do I need? Josiah Stoltzfus resigned. Now let's go look briefly here. So we had this position. Is this where you wanted me to play knight d5? Because here knight d5, he can play queen c6, right? After c6? All right, and maybe king d8 too, yeah. But let's go look and see what I said in the aggressive, in the file. So here's the Scandi, and b4 takes rook b1, queen a5, rook b5, queen a6, and I said knight f3, which was I did, and I said, and the, the note just says knight f3 with attack. Bishop g4, bishop c4, with just a beautiful position, yeah. So it's not like, we win by force after queen e6. It definitely looks like we should. We just have a glorious attack. Like, yeah. And I think e6 I give, and then I give h3, snip, snap, you know, with a monster advantage. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, uh, let's do another game. Useful to know that um, you're not winning. Because in that position, right, with this, well, you're winning in a positional level. But it's useful to know that there's no, like, tactical knockout when they play this nasty queen a6 stuff. It's just a nice position. All right, here we go again. Play. Oh, I almost played d4 like an idiot. Dude, this is hard to get up to 700, man. This is a hard road to climb. Oh, it's my second Scandi. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing. What would be the aggressive repertoire? I could play knight f3, d4, get into an exchange French, or I could take the thing, which is not very... Oh, I'm going to take the thing. <laughs> Come on. I'm just going to develop boss and see what you... Well, I don't know what you're doing. But I don't know what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. Let's just bring our pieces out. This guy's got this worked out, actually, man. He's like, this is my repertoire. <laughs> He's like, this is my repertoire. <laughs> okay, boss. Let's just develop. A threatening bishop g5. Oh, he missed it. Whack! Schniff. Well, it doesn't look good for this dude. Let's develop. Let's trade the queens. This here, it's okay to trade queens. Owl teacher, by the way, he has real problems trading the queens. 
You're like, well, he's up a thousand pieces in his games and then he won't trade. I'm just gonna put my pieces in the middle. It's okay in the aggressive repertoire. Once you're winning, <laughs> once you're winning, it's okay to trade, boss. <laughs> let's fly, let's fly away. All right, let's do a little fancier. Whack. It is a pleasure. It is a pleasure. This guy really hates rugs. It's true, man. Give. Give me all the dynam dynamism of your position so I can suck it dry. <laughs> Jeez, cry. Does it have to be like that? Give it all to me, baby. Give me all your love. Let's fly, let's fly away. Because chess is an easy game. Take, take, it's like I take things for a living or something over here. I don't know, here. Where do you want to go? No, oh, that wasn't it, boss. Whack. Take your pieces today. And I will say it's a little bit lame that these dudes don't resign. But that's that's part of what I signed up for, huh? On this speed run thing. That's my fault. Let's fly, let's fly away. Maybe I get a break every time I get seven, I get up to 700. He's disconnected, dude. <laughs> oh, you reconnected. Now, is it cruel? They, they get their points back, by the way. That's part of the deal. It's not like uh, their points are permanently stolen or something. You get your points back, okay, Marky Mate? Okay, buddy? It's not like you just lose it all. It's not like that. Take it easy. Take it easy, Marky Me. What line should Black choose against Knight G5 in the two knights defense in Italian? Uh, so you mean the fried liver, right? Fried liver. We can talk about it after this, yeah. I think there's a variety of lines that you can play against the fried liver. By the way, the fried liver... There's positional ways for white to do it. I mean, at the lower levels, it's about a trap, but Fisher played the fried liver and Short played the fried liver. And so it's not a, it's not a dumb idea. There's some kind of key, a lot of theory that white could learn if he really wanted to, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go look. So, for example, there's a lot of fun lines that you can play against uh, the <laughs> fried liver. Pop. Pop. Now, 
There's many things you could do here. Knight d4, b5, um, knight a5. They're all good. But this one, that's the real slammer jammer. <laughs> that's the real slammer jammer, man. And, uh, yeah, it's evil. It's pure evil. The point being that in this position, I think you got to play like bishop f1 or something. It's truly horrendo. You know, and this is what this is what white deserves. Now there are ways for white to try to survive this thing, but it's none of them them are pleasant. None of them are pleasant. Chess lover says one of the main problems of trying to improve as a lower player, you kind of get used to opponents making mistakes, so you don't know how to react when a guy is not making mistakes. Um, <laughs> Yes, and I think one of the cool things about the cohorts we have at the dojo is, you know, you are going to get, we have like a bunch of players at this rating, and and honestly, I just want to say, the people I've played here today uh, were in the 600 range, uh, pretty, in some ways, very solid, so arguably, play has really progressed at this lower level, I, I didn't realize when I was going to do this, but for sure, I'm getting a taste of like what the uh, lower level strengths are here. Um, and I think in particular, like my general sense of things is under 1,000, the games are being decided by people hanging stuff. And then uh, past that, it's really decided largely on people giving away time. So between 1,000 and 2,200. Uh, also tactical stuff, but, you know, time is the obvious thing that you see at that level. And um, we can talk about what's beyond that. Calculation mostly is beyond 2,200, I think, and positional understanding. But right, like things like space takes some, take some effort to understand space for me as well. All right, I'm going to play one more, then I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee because I deserve it. I mean Tempe. Yeah. All right, let's go. Play.